matter what you're tying or where on Lake Powell, you'll most likely need a few good knots. And one of the simplest and easiest to remember of these knots is the bowline knot. Today's video is to illustrate how simple it can be to tie a bowline knot in a short amount of time or in a pinch. First, you want to take your rope and pull it through or around whatever you're tying off to. Pull at least a foot of the rope through and let it fall or dangle. Now take the long end of the rope and make a twist so that it folds on top of the shorter dangling rope. Then take the long end again and make a second loop or a bunny ear and pull it through the first loop. Now take the dangling side through the bunny ear Fold it over on top of itself and hold it there. While pulling the long end and all the slack out, it makes it so that it will not break free. But when it's time to take it free, you just back it out and it frees itself easily. Once again, you want to take your rope and pull it through or around whatever you're tying off to. Pull at least a foot of the rope through and let it fall or dangle. Now take the long end of the rope and make a twist so that it folds on top of the shorter dangling rope. Then take the long end again and make a second loop or a bunny ear and pull it through the first loop. Now take the dangling side through the bunny ear, fold it over on top of itself and hold it there. While pulling the long end and all the slack out, it makes it so that it will not break free. But when it's time to take it free, you just back it out and it frees itself. Here's one more great example of how to tie a bowline knot and also a bonus figure eight cleat hitch. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you like travel videos and tips, then hit the subscribe button and follow along on the next adventure.